Hello, and thanks for checking out Level. Today we're going to talk about remote control. Remote desktoping to a machine is one of the most common tasks done in Level. We've made it really easy to find. Here in the device list, here is the remote control button. If we press this, a new tab will immediately open up that will connect us to the remote machine. Now, before we start to get to work, let's just review some of the options that we have. First off, we have the ability to toggle between a view only mode. And when that's enabled, I cannot I use my mouse or keyboard to send any commands. So this will be watching only. But if we choose shared control, then my mouse becomes active and I can start to control the remote machine. We have a drop down here to display if there are multiple monitors. In this case, we only have a single monitor, so I can't pick another display. Here we have two options to send the clipboard and receive the clipboard. So if I go ahead and I'm going to copy something from my local machine here, and if I want it to show up on the other side, I want to click send and it will say successfully sent. And now I can paste remote control. But if I want to copy this and receive it, I'll need to hit this button and then it will pull that up and now I can paste it on my local device. We also have control alt delete and then we have a list of commands here so we can restart and shut down the machine. At the far right, we have the ability to go full screen to expand. I'll bring it back down. Along the right side, we have several buttons that are worth investigating. First, we have system information, which will display us useful details about the device we're working on. We can choose terminal to immediately get into a command line interface that would not interrupt the end user that may be using the machine. We also have a file explorer where we can browse the remote file system and we can download and upload files. So let's go ahead and download a file and that will pull it through the browser. We can next view processes. This will show us a list of all the running processes. We can start, we can stop processes and we can filter as well. Last, we have the ability to look at services. Here we can see the list of services on the machine. We can start the service or stop the service or restart, and we can filter up here as well. Now, really, the main point of remote control is going to be to control the device to work on it. And as you'll see, we're remote controlled in, and we're using nothing more than the browser. No software needed to be installed on my local machine. I was able to connect to this from anywhere using browser. And so it makes it very convenient to assist others or to remote into a device that I need to do some work on. Well, that's it for remote control. We hope that was informative for you and we'd like to thank you for choosing Level.